Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that the show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready. Let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I am Chip. I'm Cern. And you are listening to the Chip and Cern Show. Once again. Welcome and happy holiday season. There we go. Lovely. Let me see. We're, uh, we have potentially a Xmas or holiday podcast coming up. Indeed. You know, they're around the holidays, but I, there is a, um, situation at work and we've, uh, Cern and I over, over the years, over a hundred plus episodes, we've, we've, uh, dove into the workplace, uh, drama a few times. Cern has we his have. coffee nemesis. Is, what's the status <laughs> so, update on the coffee nemesis? It still happens. So now... You know, they used to leave like the yeah you know, the, the just just a little bit just in a there. tinkle just a tinkle in there a few drips. Um, they now just they turn the pot off with the tinkle in there. You know, instead of just refilling it because it's like uh huh. It's not like it's noon. When it's noon, I get it. You know, but it's is noon the cutoff for coffee? I, oh, for I, workplace, I I mean, I'll drink past noon, but like if it's empty at. 10 30 or 10 probably should make another one is yes. noon that cut off i think i think that yeah. i would accept that i would usually i'm like uh yeah okay okay but when it's i think it's like 8 30 i go in there i'm like son of a bitch 8 30 yeah you better be going double barrel do you have you need two coffee uh towers at 8 30 oh, exactly that's how we we're just do. getting going yeah <laughs> uh so at, at my workplace I don't know. Do it. I feel like my workplace. I have more drama. Maybe it's because we have more people, more employees. True. So the how many, higher. How many, how many in your building? Probably about eighty. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think there's like fifteen in mine. Okay. So I guess that makes more sense that I would have three times the workplace drama. Yeah, a little more personality. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have we have an office manager. The, she's the. So, so I have a theory on that too. Oh. Smaller workplace. You can easily identify, you know, by oh. process of elimination. I did that what, with the coffee band that I told you, right? Mm-hmm. I went through and started feeling coffee cups. Oh, you, interesting. But I was like, wait a minute. You have a coffee? Nope. You have a coffee? You have a coffee cup? Let me feel it. I'm like, what? What? I'm like, oh, you did cold. your own investigation. It's cold. Let me feel it. What? It's warm. Did you just get a cup of coffee? Yeah. Why is not the, why did you not fill the pot? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, on, on blast. There, there was plenty of. There was plenty of coffee in there, and I pulled a pot up because I brought it with me. This is plenty for nice. who? Rumple Stillskin? Give me a break. For what? A troll? <laughs> who drinks this? But anyway, but that's but tickle of coffee. But if there was eighty people, my I would be like, fuck. Yeah, there's a lot more Probably suspects. Have a stakeout. <laughs> now I have my own investigation going. Uh, we have had some. <clears throat> so what's the crime at hand? The crime on hand is uh community communal food theft. Oh man. Okay. So we're, you know, a uh, San Francisco tech company. So we have uh, stocked fridges and, and pantries. So, um, you know, we'll have uh, the office manager who's just the, the sweetest, the sweetest woman takes everything, I would say, almost to a fault too personally. Like, oh, you didn't like the cookies that I got? Oh, I'm sorry. What ones do you like? I'll order. Like she uh, goes, okay. bends over backwards to try to make everyone happy and have a good office life, which is great. So... Uh, she places a Costco order and Amazon and stuff. So she gets big tubs of, um, you know, Costco peanut butters, Nutella, these hard boiled eggs, uh, Eng- English muffins, Thomas English muffins. Ooh, I, like, I like it. Uh, the Dave's killer bread, Boom. little string cheese. So there's, there's, uh, quite the accoutrement at work. <laughs> so, you know, I, I like to keep, uh, uh, the, the spirits up in the office. So I kind of, We'll walk around and she goes, Hey, Chipper. She goes, Somebody took the hard boiled eggs. And I'm like, Huh? Like, they're the little two packs of like pre hard boiled oh, okay. eggs oh, wait, from I, Costco. I love those, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm like, Well, what do you mean? I'll, I, I'll I wreck had... a sixer of those. <laughs> <laughs> I have a dozen, sir? What? You need to get your cholesterol checked. You can be. It's good cholesterol. But, okay. Actually, I just, did. I just did. I just did. My cholesterol. You're good? Yeah. Okay. 
Disregard. <laughs> so I said, oh, what do you mean? Like, I had some of the eggs this morning. She goes, no, the whole box. 24 two-packed eggs gone oh, man. of eggs. Oh. I'm like, what? She goes, yeah, and they store uh, a whole Nutella, like a family-sized Nutella as well. I'm like, interesting. And we kind of had, you know, we had some layoffs or we had some people get, you know, hosed. So I thought maybe a disgruntled employee. I'm, okay, yeah. Fuck this company. I'm going to take some eggs and, and peanut butter with me on which, my way which out. Kinda, which, all right. I will fine. say I'm not above. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Seems reasonable. Yeah, I mean, sure. You're not getting a paycheck anymore. Might as well get enough eggs for the next two months. <clears throat> help uh, uh help the burden yeah help ease uh, put some cream on that burn <laughs> so the most recent so this has kind of been happening off and on it's been odd um and i will say there's uh the office is sort of like uh whatever about it not, not a lot of people know now one morning i opened the fridge up the, there we have a communal fridge and then we have the per- personal fridge where everyone you could put your lunch and shit in there i open up and i see and you're, you're a Costco shopper. Yes, I am. They have a 30 pack of those individual guacamoles. Holy guacamole. Well, I was going to say, is it holy guacamole? Yes. And I was like, first off, oh. it's delicious guacamole. Oh, it I is. Love it. Oddly, it never, ex- it doesn't seem to ever brown or get expired. I'm a little bit curious about that. But <laughs> so I saw this whole complete sealed I'm box. I'm trying to think about stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of chemicals. Anyway. Um, Whole seal box 30. This is about 10 in the morning on a, like a Tuesday. The amount of preserves that we eat would oh. be like the next pharaoh. Fully just, preserved. Just preserving <laughs> from the inside out. When we're dead, we'll be like <laughs> fucking Ramsey's. Yeah. He looks like he's 20. Um, <laughs> well, he ate a lot of those packaged guacamoles. That's why. Uh, so okay. I see this box of guacamole and I'm like, this is great because if I go out or I bring some food from home, it will be the perfect little bit of avocado to have. Uh, in addition to my meal. Yes. Now, <laughs> you have, you guys have internal chat, right? Like a, you have Slack or whatever. Uh, uh, link. Link. Uh, yeah. Mike, Microsoft, my, okay. Microsoft Link. <clears throat> so it's their version of just whatever your we, internal chat. We also chat. have a Zoom. Uh, yeah. Okay. We have a Zoom too. Yeah. To me, so. But yeah, like a, usually everyone uses Link. Yeah. So we <laughs> have you have different channels. There's like a all office and then there'll be, oh, the marketing team or all oh, engineers will have their own. So everyone uh, okay. sort of gets the notification that's on that team. So it's like a little bit more um, live um, okay. than, than like an email. Yeah. It can't be ignored, I would say. <clears throat> so the, it goes out about three. So when I get one of those, I usually, if I don't want to talk to them, I just hit the X. <laughs> I just hit the X. Oh, I do. There's people I um, muted before. Oh. oh, yeah. Or just blocked. Yeah. Around three, a, a message goes out. The guacamole's taken. Someone's taken the guacamole. And I was like, the whole fucking 30 pack? They're like, gone. And it was right next to a hummus pack, a hummus box. Oh, was the hummus taken? No, the hummus was Untouched. there. Untouched. Untouched. Oh, my God. So it wasn't okay. a Greek um, oh. or a oh. Turk. Ooh, am I clipping a little bit? You, you are. Where are you? Where are you? Are you this oh, yeah, one? Yeah. yeah. Why this one? I think we're good. That's great. Okay. I thought right in the, right <clears> the climax. <throat> anyway, go on. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Sounds good. Not clipping. No. Yeah. We're not. We're good. So it's been taken immediately. Some people, it, this is in a side, like a side channel with only a couple people. People have their own, like me and you would have our own constant channel. If we had other friends in the office, we would like have our own. Oh, we're talking about football yeah, or baseball. Okay. <clears throat> so this is in a kind of sort of a side channel. And I'm like, holy, I'm like, no way. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people are getting worked up. This one guy in particular is getting very worked up about this. I would say unreasonably so. <laughs> was he going to start searching bags or something? He's like, this is, who could, who would do this to everyone? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking with you. Who would do this? A whole 30 pack. Th- and during midday. So, oh. it, <laughs> you know, like the that, first. That's morning, brazen. That's brazen. Last scene, 10 a.m. I saw it personally at 10 a.m. Around three, it's gone. So, I mean, those between 10 and 3, highest traffic kitchen, you know, out. it's in the fridge where the kitchen where everyone communal area. Oh, okay. So, I go on this. There's a channel called Random, which you can post off work stuff. You know, people go, oh, you know, they'll throw like an article about uh, the football game or whatever on there. And it's not work related. And everyone has that understanding that it's not a work related channel. Oh, okay. I don't hang out on there a lot because executives like tend to like 
take notice of who spends uh-huh. a lot of time on the random channel and why aren't they working? Uh-huh. Why are they like doing this, you know, oh, this, you know, fucking circle jerk bullshit on this other channel? <clears throat> Smart. Entrapment. Yeah. So I go on there and I had, you know, uh, right from, I was, I was writing from the heart and I was, the marketing team was around my computer or they were all feeding me what to say. And I was like, I'm going to say this, blah, 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 blah. Like, Ooh, that's a little stingy. That's a little, that's a little, um, passive aggressive. So everyone's sort of punching up my sentence. And I just said, does anyone happen to know where the box of guacamole went? Question mark. (laughs) Immediately (laughs) you can like put emojis on it or, uh, comments or anything. So it started getting a lot of, uh, a lot of a lot of engagement as they say so um everyone has their own suspects no one's come forward is, now is there any usual suspects I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well so i have i'm i'm doing an investigation now here's now what how we've done it we didn't go to the hr team and you know it's tough cuz what do you do so we start sort of making a uh, a scene of it at during lunch. Oh, is is there any guacamole? So we so there's probably 20 or 30 people now out of the company that know about sort of guac gate that we guac. have going on. <laughs> and everyone's like, "Oh, guacamole." And who, they know who, who, who named it. Do you know? Who I don't know it? who did the who did the guac gate. That's okay. Wait, is this Oh, I know why. <laughs> I was turning down the wrong one. Okay. Um, wait, this is me. This is you. All right. There we go. There we go. Guacate. I don't know who named it. Um, now, people are saying, "Well, let's put a camera up. Let's get a Nest Cam. Just I was, like I was going to suggest it. that. I was going to just suggest a Nest Cam, but I'm I'm all for it. And it's uh, we have a lawyer in the like we actually have a legal counsel at, at work, well. and we uh, we just ran it by him real quick at lunch. Like, yeah. would it be okay? Is Do you it? have a reasonable um um assumption of privacy oh, and he yeah. said no it's a communal lunch area there's no true and everyone signed sort of, yeah. yeah so okay good to know here's what i wanted to do for my investigation <coughs> a sting a sting operation okay. get a new box of guacamole put a tile in it one of those tile things in it oh then when it goes missing hit the locate button someone's fucking bag is going to start beeping like crazy right or we can see where it went and then just swarm, swarm, swarm. I like it. I like it. But I don't know. And we di- we didn't really have a goal set out. Like, what do we want? Do we want the guac t- to be returned? I think the, the the goal, do we want to find the suspect? Obviously. I think you want to find the I suspect. I want to find who it and is. And shame. Yes. Shame. Uh, also, just don't want it happening again. True. So it's been a week and a half. We've gotten. What's their reasoning? That's what I, 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 that's that's what what I, I want to know. know. You having a party? What's going that's on? That's what I said. It's uh, Cinco de Mayo in November, December. What's happening here? Drew. So. They could be a football party, you know? They could be just. Oh. That's true. So the fever pitch around the guac. Yes. The guac gate at, at work has risen to a level to where I think this, the suspects, suspect or suspects, um, do not have not st- struck again oh. because there's so much awareness it's, on it. It's hot. It's it a is. hot topic. We've gotten new guacamole and we've uh, not had any thefts. So I have my suspects. Everyone has their own. Do you have like a chart? You know, like we have like the, with the, with the rubber bands and the pins. You so know, like funny a, enough, like a pyramid. <laughs> yeah. on your first day at work, like our company, we have like a Polaroid camera and they take a picture of you. And it's on a big, um, uh, pen. What's the corkboard? Corkboard. Yeah. In the ch- thing, and I'm like, how funny would it be if we just like started doing the spider web of suspects <laughs> of this, and like I would be like, I would chipper. Uh, please come to the HR office. Uh, we need to have a chat. You can't be adjusting <laughs> people's pictures with highly suspect, not really suspect. <laughs> I was about to break down a ring. So, Cerny, I want to get your thoughts on on a couple types of people that could be a suspect now my i don't i have a very flimsy circumstantial case okay but there's a there's a group of people who work in a a certain department and they are have been known i've talked about this before i personally have coined them the tupperware crew 
Ah, uh, okay. Yes. So yes. we get a weekly catered lunch, and they will go through. Usually, uh, I would say it's a little premature, a little soon. Not everyone is out of their meetings, and they'll go through and fill up a couple Tupperwares for themselves, and they have lunch you know, for the next alone. three days. That action alone rockets them to the top of the, my list right now. That's my thinking exactly. Now, some other people <laughs> are along the lines of, well, who has the most mouths to feed at home? Hmm, okay. interesting. Okay. Now, I will say we are in San Francisco. I would say... Most people probably make a very potentially livable wage. Like no one's at the offices making twenty five thousand dollars. You know, like in poverty. You know, I would say probably the median salary. I mean, I'm gonna guess is seventy to eighty, maybe ninety k. Okay, is like the average salary that people make. Probably don't need to be stealing guacamoles from work. No, not a whole thirty two. <clears throat> so my thought is. It potentially is somebody, and uh, there's other camps that think uh, like um, customer service or somebody a little lower on the totem pole is feeling they're uh, not getting paid substantially, so they're this is their way to get back. What say you to this theory? Now, has there been stuff missing before, right? Yeah, the eggs, the Nutella. Mm -hmm. But every... Uh -huh. And these are all boxed. These are all grab-and-goes. So they're all packaged up. Uh, nicely so like we also get cliff bars but they're out of the pack you know there's 20 yeah, of them okay. in a in a little area so they don't like grab those stay fine hmm. this person i've also noticed has a very savory palate Ooh. eggs guacamole nothing sweet yeah nothing sweet so what uh, i'm gonna go with tupperware crew that's i don't, your, I don't know about the amount of fee i mean that's plausible I mean, I, you'd have to leave it open. A great detective mm -hmm. doesn't a Sherlock, fit, if you will, doesn't fit their uh, investigation to their to their mind. Oh. They're open. Wow, I mean, insightful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I don't know if I'm uh, the proper investigator. Then <laughs> I don't have the uh, mental capacity to perform. So I mean. now there was a new bit of evidence, or a new mm -hmm. circumstantial at best. Hold on. Okay. Tupperware lid left in the fridge, but no Tupperware. So we okay. uh, also, <laughs> also when this guac went missing, I was like, first of all, search. You know, it's not possible for unless someone like said, "Hey, I got ten bags of tortilla chips and tequila shots," then I could say, "Okay, I could see why thirty packs of guac would be missing, would be used up." Yeah. We yeah. looked in all garbage cans. There's no lids. No, uh, nothing. You know, the cardboard wasn't the recycling, anything. It's poof, poof just into thin air, like Kaiser Soul say. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so last week, it, our building had a, had a tenant appreciation. Whoa. So they had mini quiches, uh, pastry, orange juice and stuff downstairs. So when you walk in the building, you go, oh, cool. There's a plate. They do this like once a quarter or twice a year or something. And they're like, okay, here's some quiche, put it on there, and you go up. Cool. Now this this uh, person pops on the chat. Hey, everyone. I got a bunch of pastry from downstairs, the leftovers, and it's now on our floor. Hmm. Interesting. Is that... And I look, go, I walk over to the area. There's about five, like, Chinette paper plates oh. just loaded with fucking bear claws and cheese danish oh interesting hmm. have a have a taste for mass quantities of food being lifted from areas of the building oh, do you sir like like a, like a murderer yes bloodthirst so do you think that type of behavior is um <laughs> relates them to potential does that make them a higher suspect in your eyes of the of the guac thief Yes. So, so now was when they sent this this chat out, mm -hmm. was it not meant for? Did they make a mistake? No, no. This was a sort of like, a, hey guys, look what I did for everyone. Uh -huh. Like I brought all this food up. Everyone can enjoy it. Oh, so he's like Robin Hood. He's <laughs> trying. He's trying to be a fucking pastry hood or something. So Cerny has some. Um, These are fifteen types of evidence. You're trying to bust somebody. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, number one is analogical evidence. Uh, 
Which chords. Are you using oh chords kind of evidence can be used. Are we in over heads with some of these words? Yeah. I mean <laughs> anecdotal <laughs> evidence, character evidence. Which okay, so character this evidence is what we're. This is what we're using now. Um, so this is a testimonial document that helps prove that someone acted mm -hmm. in a particular way <coughs> based on the person's character. So oh. this, this, Tupperware the character crew. evidence is the Tupperware crew, I would Tupperware say. Tupperware crew. Um, circumstantial evidence, <laughs> which is also. So this is what we would use to say, okay, Cerny, you weren't in the office on Tuesday, so there's no way you could have stolen it. Yeah. Or you had people saw you in the lunchroom Hovering between these hours. Yes. You were in there. Um, the average time that someone's in the in the in the break room is about mm. five minutes. You hover around for about twenty five minutes waiting for people to clear. So, or uh, pin. yes, circumstantial. Or you are saying, um, "Hey, this weekend I'm having a huge uh, Mexican uh, food party um, <laughs> and margarita night." <laughs> yeah, that would. <laughs> so <laughs> guilty, guilty. <laughs> Throw the book at him. Demonstrative evidence. Um, an object or document is considered to be demonstrative evidence when it directly demonstrates oh. a fact. It's a common and relatable kind of evidence. Uh, examples of this kind of oh. evidence are photographs, video, so audio recordings. If we got the Nest Cam, you it would her. be now for the Nest Cam. I was saying we have one that's overtly obvious, like on the fridge, and it's like you know right there. <laughs> then. You, you like have a, the a retinal scan. <laughs> 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 then you have, um, you have the couple. You, this is like at least a three camera deal because yeah. you need the other ones t different vantage points. Oh, because they'll like, oh, they'll take their cap off and they'll like put it up in front, but they don't know about the fucking <laughs> hidden one behind them that saw them do it. Two way mirror. Um, uh, digital evidence. Okay, so I'm gonna say they bragged on you know, I swipe some shit. You know. Oh. Oh, so we should get uh, access to their Facebook pages. Exactly. Okay. Uh, emails, text messages, instant messages, all that shit. Yeah. Uh, direct evidence. Uh, probably caught red-handed, I assume. This evidence oh. alone is proof. We <coughs> don't have any direct evidence of the guac thief. Documentary evidence. Most oh. commonly considered to be written forms of proof, such as letters or wills. Now, here's another uh, anti-guac uh, gate measure. That we thought, you know, in the uh, AM, PM bathrooms. Yeah. It's like uh, September 4th at 2.30 at and then you write, Chipper, he fucking cleaned the toilets. Uh. What What did you go? You went to the fridge. Time, date, what you took. Start logging it. Oh, logging. Then we can, you know, p piece it together. There you go. Potentially. Obviously, they're not going to log anything. So we go through who is not into logging, but we've uh -huh. seen them. So putting together a circumstantial case. Uh, where was I at? So it was this exculpatory evidence? Oh. Uh, this type of evidence can exonerate a defendant in a usually criminal case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, prosecutors and police are required to disclose to the defendant any exculpa exculpatory oh. evidence they find or risk having... The case dismissed. This is what happened to Steve Avery. There you go. Making a murderer. <laughs> Forensic evidence. We all know what that is. Mm -hmm. Start dusting for fucking fingerprints. Could you imagine? That would be... <laughs> actually... <laughs> come in. Chipper, what do you do? Put the, like, the blood like aluminol on there. <laughs> shine a light over it. Black light. Uh, <laughs> would you mind opening it up? Just swab the cheek. Thank you very much. I'll be sending this off to the lab. You'll be here. Like send a, I send a um, expense report. <laughs> What's twelve thousand um, dollars? I had some lab work processed for the uh, guac gate situation. I'm trying to get it resolved. Uh, Chipper, the guacamole costs twelve dollars. Just let it go. <laughs> this will not justice as mm -hmm. no price. Um, here's <laughs> here's the evidence. Uh, oh, that's the best kind. Oh yeah, this is what we're <laughs> speculating about. Here's I love it. I heard the I heard the I heard the tub worker. Yeah, it was all over this. Oh, actually, Tuesday was it? Hmm. Cerny's bag looked bulging. <laughs> bulging. Uh, physical evidence. Uh, physical evidence is mm. in the form of tangible uh, of, of tangible object, such as a firearm, mm -hmm. fingerprint. Uh, <laughs> rope you know that you use to strangle somebody you know what they was this like fucking clue <laughs> yeah the candlestick in the library 
uh, oh my. prima facie evidence mm. or facie on meaning first appearance. First appearance. So you probably stumble upon it looks like, and the evidence presented before the trial is that is enough to prove something until Interesting. It is oh so it's like uh, mm. so it's kind of like we have a little bit to go to trial, but we don't have enough to to okay. So, uh, so not as not the most not the strongest case. No. And okay. then we have sti- sti- statistical evidence okay. and testimonial evidence. So statistical well, is numbers. I don't know. So my my case. <laughs> so you're, we, have we had one box. So my 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 stats are: we had one box of <laughs> no, we have zero. No, we have zero. <laughs> <laughs> now, Cerny, let me ask you. Let's say we, I put my I'm, uh, I have my suspects, and we we get the we get the the guac gate person. What do you say is what would you say is a a good um, punishment? Now, oh. mind you, the monetary value on the guacamole is very little, sub twenty dollars. But it's ethical. I I'm so. I might say. Well, sorry, I'll let you ask. I don't know. I don't sorry. Know. Well, let's hear what you got to say first. I don't I don't know how it. I might say if they're willing to do this, what else are they doing exactly. against the yeah, company? Yeah. The slippery slope. Kind of a thing. What and else, the, it's else? not like, oh, this is the first time they've done this. The first time you've caught them, as I learned from Ozark. Uh, and <laughs> so, okay. you know, the eggs, this, guac. If they're willing to do this type of stuff, what Are if they, they had access to the books or, yeah. uh, you know, um, intellectual property or files or something at work? I've, um, seen, I've seen Office Space. Every that's transaction true. they round the fragment of the oh. pennies and all of a sudden you have a, a healthy bank account. Do you think this person should be sh- should be fired? I don't know. That is... I mean, I think it is technically I mean, it's, grounds to terminate because yeah. he's de- stealing from the company. I hate to say it, but I think you'd have to... Stern warning? You'd have to assess it off of... what ty- If they were good, um, then I would maybe... Merit-based. Yeah. Cause, oh, know, so if they're oh, we want to fire them, but they just haven't been and now, shitty enough. And here's the gate. Here, they gave you. They gave it to they you. They gave it. Oh, fucking on a T. Yep. Wow. I never thought about that. That's my thing. I I just want to know why. And if they go, oh well, you know, so and so company doesn't pay me good enough, and I'm just trying to get back at them. I'd be like, eh, okay. I actually, I accept. <laughs> I accept your guacamole theft. <laughs> but. I don't know. Now there is some uh, suspect, uh, the cleaning person that we have. That's what I was going to ask. So we do because we have <clears throat> in our office mm-hmm. we've had theft, and it was the cleaning oh, person. they're always the first, but they come in and in, in the, the cover of in darkness the, in the middle of the night. Yeah. So and usually. I think a lot of people are a little scared right now to sort of mention that as a suspect one because oh <laughs> P- traditionally sometimes they're minorities and this is and they're lower yeah. lower income you know and this is something that did happen uh, something was stolen yeah and it was a uh, is was I'm, it we're gonna name his name but it yeah. was uh, English is obviously a second language okay so yeah he was. It was kind of busted, but he really wasn't because it, it was the way it went down. I really can't say it because yeah. it's open okay. right now. But it but it was yeah. I see what you mean. But was it, was it like, uh, somebody's wallet or a phone or something or was it checks? Hmm, that's okay. Uh, that but it wasn't a it wasn't like a checkbook. It was in the middle of the checkbook take, taking checks out. So they so that the person wouldn't notice. Mm. Obviously, that to me is. That's a lot of intent to to, to do something yeah. naughty, naughty. Yes. Okay, interesting. Well, I, d- I don't want to have you divulge any more, Cerny. <laughs> now, I will say the case against the cleaning person at our work, I come into work sometimes at insanely early hours for our company to go running. Like, I'll come in in my running clothes, and I'll it'll be 6.30 in the morning, and I'll go put my backpack down at my desk, Cause uh, we have showers at work, so I'll like have all my clothes in there. Sweet. And I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna take a piss before I go meet my friends. Like 6:45 in the morning. Okay. And the cleaning person's there. And a couple times I've, and I try to be, you know, the lights are off and everything. I try to be like really noisy. Yeah. So like you know. I'm here. 
hello, you know, I'm not the only, you're not the only one here anymore sort of thing. <laughs> Don't mace me. And I've come upon this person and they clearly were oh, like they covered up. They were doing something they weren't supposed to. And I kind of was like, oh, hi, you know, I'm not, you know, I, no judgment, no judgment. <laughs> and put your dick away. No judgment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have leftover food from Wednesday's lunch or whatever. So if they're taking an extra fucking chicken for themselves, I couldn't give a yeah, fuck whatever, about that. Like, whatever. go for it. That's fine. You know, I don't know, but that's also circum. You know, that's also maybe are so they coming up during lunch and doing this whole thing? And I don't know. Are they? Do they? Do they work in the middle of the day too? I I've seen I've seen them come around sometimes. Oh, okay. But like, what are they gonna do? Take that whole thing and like drop it in their big garbage bag and like walk out? No, I don't. It no, just I've seems. I've seen them smuggle guns in in every movie. That's true. So it could be they put in the trash can. Oh, they dress up as the janitorial. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Oh, maybe the Tupperware crew dresses as a janitor. One of the a prosthetic like a nose <laughs> and mask, like a big, uh, big job like Mr. Doubtfire of sorts for twelve dollar guacamole. Well, I don't. Do you any any certainly? Where do you think I should focus my investigation next, or should I just let it be? It's still f- around work. It's sort of the joke. So how how fresh is this, and how about wide- two weeks? Okay, two weeks, and how widely spread? I would say there's probably a third of the company is aware of the Guac Gate. So so there is a there is a high per chance, or at least a thirty three percent chance that that person, the offender, might know get wind that there's an investigation. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I would keep. Tra- I want maybe. If something else goes missing, turn up the heat. Turn up the heat, and then maybe do a sting. Could, could you imagine if what if you had stolen something, and it's in your backpack, like or because most people kind of commute. It's not, you know, like I'm sure at your job you drive your car, and if you want to go drive off to lunch, you get back in your car and you leave. Drive, yeah. Like that's not a possibility in San Francisco, really. Unless I mean, unless you live near work and you're walking. So the 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 stolen object is in your bag. Oh, Could you okay, imagine yeah, that right. it starts beep 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 and people you just oh. <laughs> <laughs> What would you They may leave and never come back. Oh, they would be more uh, I mean the shame. And you know what happens on the news oh, a day later? Oh. A uh, bearded what? man shot at work. <laughs> <laughs> fucking came in and, you know, po- po- went postal on it. <laughs> Over guacamole. Yeah, over guacamole. <laughs> well, um... The guacamole brought him too much shame. Much like the mattress situation, I foresee the guac gate really being a chip and search <laughs> staple <laughs> coming up here. Um, One of our many coaches. Now, I'm sure everyone has their office, you know, oh, office yes. woes. Cerny has his fair share of his. I do. Uh, we would love to hear yours. <laughs> Cerny, where would they send those to? Um, you can send us a tweet. You can DM us, Facebook. You can mm-hmm. even email us. Anything Chip and Cern Show. Yep. The email is uh, chipandcernshow at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, go to our website, Chip and Cern Show. Um, if you want to, while you're there, yep. if you want to buy something, slash shop. <laughs> Black Friday. <laughs> or uh, Christmas. Snowing. Yeah. What is... Oh. Oh, well, that's... Oh, it's that thing again. Huh. I wonder ro- what he's doing rogue. that. Went rogue. I don't know. Huh. Anyway. So, Cerny, get a hat for yourself. Oh, well, here we go. It's right here. So, here if you're right. on the 360 cam, Boom. there's a Chip and Cern Show hat. It's brand new. I don't know what this runs you. What know. do we have it for? 15, 20 bucks, maybe? Black Friday sale. Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, we have the 360 cam now. I do. I will apologize. This is all 100% Chip's fault. I've been extremely busy, and the 360 videos are the last thing that gets done on the podcast. Uh, you and know, as of late, schedule it was like about 20 minutes. Of, yeah. of, sh- of show before you went just yeah, and look, it's show. fucking cutting off, and it's like yeah, and then I look on six people have watched it. I'm like, okay, I guess is this really worth me doing three hours of work at night when I'm yeah, trying to yeah. build this fucking table? That's a whole nother podcast. But anyway, uh, I will attempt to, to start putting the shows back up. They We do still have YouTube audio-only programs on there. Uh, so yes, if you listen yes, there yeah. or on iTunes, uh, throw a rating one, on there. Making Murder is our biggest 
<laughs> still. Oh, well, that's just because we were just we're kicking the hornet's nest. But, yeah. you know, what are Trolling. you going to do? <laughs> Trolling. Anyway, until next time, I'm Chip. I'm Cern. Cheers. <laughs>